Number 24. Calculate the rotational kinetic energy in the motorcycle wheel, figure 10.38, if its angular velocity is 120 radians per second. Assume the mass is 12 kilograms, the inner diameter radius is 0.28, and the outer is 0.33. All right, so this problem is fairly straightforward, right? I mean, all we got to think about is how do we find rotational kinetic energy given, you know, the angular velocity, and then it sounds like a mass and radius, right, which is basically moment of inertia. So we need this formula down here on the bottom right. So it says that the kinetic energy of rotation, all right, will equal one half times the moment of inertia multiplied then by the uh, angular velocity squared. Now, uh, we need to find or identify what the angular, um, excuse me, what the moment of inertia is. And if you go to page 359 in your textbook, you have a whole series of pictures. And basically, they're telling you the inner and outer radius. So they're telling you that we're going to use the angular cylinder uh, formula. Okay. And the angular cylinder, the angular cylinder, excuse me, if you notice, it's a, it's a cylinder that's going to be rotating about a central axis. And there is some depth to the... Or I should say some width to the cylinder that is going to be rotating, okay, or the mass of the cylinder. So, um, all right, so now that being, that being said, uh, let's now expand on this kinetic energy formula. So there's gonna be one half multiplied then by m over two, the mass of the object that's rotating divided by two plus the inner radius squared plus the outer radius squared, and then that multiplied by the angular velocity squared. I mean, so this is really, you know, th this is this is the formula you need. All we got to do is plug the values in now, right? So kinetic energy, this is just a plug and chug kind of problem. So this is just one half multiplied then by the mass. Um, it's going to be 12 kilograms over two multiplied by the inner squared, 0.28 squared plus then 0 0.33 squared times then the 120 angular velocity squared. So just plug it on into the calculator. And what do we get? So this is essentially, so it's gonna be uh, 0.5 times 12. Actually, why don't we do inside the parentheses first? It doesn't really matter. 0.28 squared plus 0.33 squared. And then take that, multiply it by 12 over two. Take that and then multiply it by a half and that multiplied by 120 squared. And we should get a value here and we'll do, how many sig figs? Looks like three or so well. I would really use two because there is no decimal there, but I think your book says it could be two or three. I'm not really sure why. Um, eight point, so the answer is 8.09 or 8.1, depending upon how many sig figs you think this should have, is times 10 to the uh, third. Okay, and that is in terms of joules. So that is the answer. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, help us out, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.